What's up guys, Ruben with Reviews back again for a book I've been excited to talk about for a long time. Guys, this is The Nasty by Nightfall of the Vault Comics. This is by John Lees, who I think is becoming one of the best horror writers we have today in comics. Very good stuff, we love his work. Art by Kambalais Cahoon, sorry if I mispronounced those names, and um, art or letters by Jim Campbell. Guys, this book was just a fresh breath of air. I kid you not. So this book um, starts off with a kid who looks like he has um, a single parent, a mother, who, uh, you know, works a lot. So he spends a whole lot of time alone and he loves horror movies. He's just like me. He loves horror movies, passionate about uh, just horror, slasher, anything in the genre. He loves it. It's his thing. He's a big nerd about it. One day he goes out and plays, comes across this big bulky figure, looks like a real big Jason Voorhees, and befriends this um, slasher looking character. Is it an imaginary friend? Is it a real being? We don't know yet, but man, this started out with a bang. And so we follow this uh, character a little bit, a little bit of a time jump with uh, Tim to where he's a little bit older than high school age. And he still has the figure that follows him around. Looks like only he can see it. It really is like an imaginary friend kind of thing. And he has a great group of friends who love horror films too, love slasher stuff, and they all really bond on that. And uh, so th there's a real big element of slice of life. And guys, usually with my reviews, I like to compare books to other books or other stories, film, television. I couldn't compare this to anything. This was just such a fresh unique story and I really enjoyed the many components of this issue alone. A whole lot of seeds being planted to look forward to. We, um, uh, Thumper, the character, you got the name because uh, apparently he thumps when he walks, big rabbit feet kind of thing. Um, him and his friends, they're watching this movie that is supposedly cursed when people watch it, bad things happen. Uh, we got a little taste of that. I think we're going to see some more about um, his his mother. What's going on with her? She seems a little dysfunctional in her own way. And uh, the, the way this story ends, man, it's such a great number one. The story ends with us seeing that this figure that follows him around is not just an imaginary friend or just a whole lot more than meets the eyes. This guy can be physical. He can lift things. He can interact with things around him, like in the physical sense. And uh, so this was a great number one in the sense of, I'm really excited for what's next, but also this book was very uh, refreshing in itself. It was like uh, just so much, uh, it was a very satisfying book, but I'm also excited for what's next. Like uh, I'd be good with just a single issue alone. It was a great number one. Guys, pick it up. This is by John Lees, he's killing it. Vault Comics, you guys are doing great stuff. Thank you guys for this book. Check it out, guys. I can't encourage it enough. Let us know what you think about it. Tweet at us. Leave us a comment. I really hope you guys like it like I did. Enjoy it. Peace.